in this uh, mode of trying to get the first the the first uh, uh version of party party unicorns even though it's in a very much in an mvp minimally viable product state like it, it doesn't do a whole lot but um i've been i've been focused on getting this places published in various ways so i successfully and fairly easily signed up for an android dev account got this easily on to Androids and all the Android users that I know are have it on their phones and are loving it. Now, I ran into a lot more issues with iOS, and the differences between the two are shocking. Um, one, it's a bit more of a pain in the butt, since I am a Windows user, to to connect, uh, actually connect GameMaker Studio to to uh, my Mac. I have So first off, I had to buy a Mac. You know, I had to buy a Mac computer. The first one I bought was apparently just a little too old. It was one version of Xcode too old to properly work with Game Maker Studio. So you need the most recent version, which is, I think they just came out with uh, Xcode 12, but I'm working with Xcode 11. And it took a lot to, like, connect uh, the devices and get them going. I mean, the the docs that... Uh, yo-yo games has game maker studio those documentation if you it's easy to search for you know how to develop on a uh, develop ios and those those do work so i went through that whole that whole thing you can actually see here the mac mini i bought off the internet again i bought one it wasn't quite right so i had to buy a second one so i've had to buy two damn mac computers luckily i was able to resell the first one for only a small loss but you can see here these are all the simulated devices that i can test on uh, so basically what Game Maker Studio does is it connects and runs them in Mac. And someday I'll actually show this. But today is less of a, a tutorial and more of just a, a rant session. Because it, uh, I mean, this is kind of a pain in the butt, but at least Game Maker Studio, another reason why I love it, they had clear directions to, to set this up and it does work. So you just follow their, their things and again, maybe we'll go through it. But developing on iOS and, and dealing with Apple, like I hate Apple with a consuming passion. I've never used their products unless I've had to for my work. And sometimes I do have to for my work, but um, there's no way around it. If you want to develop on iOS, you need a Mac computer. You, so you can develop in, in Game Maker Studio, but when it comes time to develop a iOS app or a app for the actual like uh, Mac OS, you have to, you have to have a system that is running that you have to have be part of their, their 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 ecosystem because they have all those signatures and and certificates and there's you have to have like 10 different like like profiles <laughs> you have to create an account and that's the annoying thing apple charges on top of all this um, apple charges 99 dollars a year to be a developer where android is a one-time $25 fee and and Android doesn't have any of these complications and you can easily create the executable from uh, from Game Maker in your Windows environment and easily upload it's so much better it's so much better I hate Apple the computer so I'm extra frustrated too because I went through all this trouble because I have a lot of iPhone users too uh, I mean people who want to play the game people are really excited about the party party unicorns as dumb as game as it is you know it's just my first game um, it's an exercise in learning all this stuff but um, there's a lot of people I know that have iPhones. So I was like, okay, fine. So I went through all this craziness to bring this silly little game to iPhones everywhere. And, and it got rejected. So I went through all this trouble, spent all this time and money to make this work and frustration and blood, sweat, tears, only to have Apple reject it. Why? Because of this. That's why it's a farting sound. So it's farty party unicorns. We make the unicorn fart. So it shoots all around the screen. You collect the cupcakes, etc. Because of that, it was rejected. And I got like a rejection that was very clearly a robot. It was like a, they just, they probably saw farty par fart in the, the game name immediately went and uh, immediately went and I don't know, maybe in some kind of algorithm, audio algorithm, determined as a farting sound, it basically just sent me a, 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 a boilerplate letter in the email saying, oops, sorry, we've rejected it because 
It may contain offensive content. Get rid of the offensive content and blah, 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 blah. Here's some links to ways to make a great app. And a bunch of links that just were ge these generic links that had nothing to do with my particular problem. So I appealed and I said, hey, hey, look, yes, I admit there's a farting sound, but it's not meant to be grotesque. It's meant to be, you know, just cute and kind of silly, et cetera, et cetera. And then the reply to my appeal, which I expected to at least be human, was even more robotic. It literally was just, here's a list of ways to make your app better. There wasn't any explanation. There was no references. So again, it was just like this boilerplate auto-generated email. And I'm like, I'm offended because I spent all this money to get the hardware to develop, to get the, I'm paying $99 a year to be an, an Apple developer. And... I'm paying all this money and going through all this frustration just for the honor of Apple rejecting me. And I, re I, repeal, I uh, appeal that rejection to my appeal of my original rejection that um, there are tons of apps and everyone is pointing this out too because I brought the bad news to all my iPhone users and they're like, but there's farting apps everywhere in the iOS app store and there is. So the Apple app store is full of farting apps. Why is mine not being allowed? So I actually responded again and said, hey, I need to speak to a human because this is ridiculous. And that I must have had the right words for the robot to do something because it actually said, OK, well, somebody will be contacting you in three to five business days, but it may be longer due to the pandemic. And OK, great. So now that's where I am. And I was like, my iPhone, uh, you know, it's like my iPhone juniors. I was like, hey, you know what? I created an Itch.io account, by the way, too, as well. Uh, so I could post to uh, Windows executable. As it turns out, not surprisingly, some of those iPhone users are also Mac users. So I tried to create a Mac OS app and I created the executable. I tried to upload that to Itch.io, but then I was like, I should probably test that on my own Mac first. And they won't let you because it's not from the Mac OS app store. So these draconian just horrible policies so it's one thing to be draconian and like safe but it's like draconian and censorship this is what apple is like they force you to live entirely in their world and if you want to in any way play in their world you get to pay big and that is incredibly frustrating um and i'm realizing i didn't open my chat app so if anyone's chatting with me i apologize i mostly just did this to upload um yeah let's let's open up the chat app just in case so, you know, I'm incredibly frustrated by this process. It has um, not been good on the side of, of, you know, Apple development is just awful. I mean, technically, yes, it was following the right, like, how-tos. It was good to get this set up, um, to get this working, to get Game Maker Studio working and talking with my Mac. It was fairly easy. Um, I think if you have a, just a little bit of experience with like uh, uh, sharing across computers in a network, then you should be fine. Um, I mean, it really is that simple, like SMB, Samba. So it's you know, it's just the the. I just I do want to get my app on on iOS, and if need be, if I for some reason if they're like, oh, that's that's too much farting. Um, you know, I'm going to try to replace the sound with like a neutered or a sparkle or tinkle or something that is less offensive. And unfortunately, you know, farty party unicorns is just not going to have farts for iOS users. And that's, that just seems really lame to me, really lame. And it's just because Apple's a dick. And I mean, I'm just some little developer out there. So I have no weight. I have no power. I have no control. So, you know, you got to play by their rules, even if they're dumb, <laughs> Um, and not really protecting anyone. Like I was even, I even told them too. It's like, I'm willing to rent, I'm willing to bump up the age, you know, the content rating, the allowed ages for my app higher because all the people want to play it are adults. So, you know, and if they have kids that want to play it, they could just install it for them. So, um, but I don't know if that was, that will swing either. All the fart apps that currently exist are all like ages four and up. And even how I did the questionnaire, it still said, um, I still got a content rating of nine plus for Apple, but in all fairness, I got nine plus for Android too. Though in some countries it's um, zero because you know in some countries they're not prudish, where a farting unicorn is like way too much for kids. Now keep in mind this game 
was designed and conceived like the idea was conceived by my five-year-old daughter so i basically the goal of farty party unicorns is really to create a game that would appeal to five-year-olds everywhere specifically this five-year-old girl but um you know so it's been it's been really a really frustrating time in general i love developing with game maker studio uh there's so much more i want to do i'm thinking about today i decided to jump on stream just to talk about this because it's just really frustrating me but um i've been working on well there's so much more actually before i talk about that there's so much more i want to do with this app again this is basic so right now you just click cupcakes but uh in the next version which I, i've been waiting i've been waiting to update this with all my n new ideas and new features and whatnot because i just wanted to get going on all the different platforms that i'm going to support you know, I've hit this roadblock with all things Apple that it's really frustrating. But I don't know. Maybe I just leave Apple in the dust. But, you know, this game's going to have, like, different levels. Because right now, once you collect all the cupcakes, you go to a different level. Um, I'm going to have different levels, including special levels that have cool effects, like gravity effects and whatnot, and special power-ups. And these stats currently don't get saved when you close out. But I'm going to have, like, local storage to save uh, a lot of the stuff. So there's going to be a lot more to this game. A lot more. Uh, but as it is right now, it is what it is. Um, I, I just warn everyone that, you know, it is meant to be simple and it will get slightly less simple, but I hope to always maintain it. I mean, it's just a physics game, you know, it's supposed to be a fun physics game. So anyway, there's a lot more I want to be working on. Um, there's just so many ideas. Like I have Goth Girls versus the Goo, which is, it's funny how Spelunky 2 was just released because I'm realizing that what I want to do is a lot like Spelunky, because I did research on how they did the random generation of levels on the original Spelunky, and I think it was actually really smart, where they actually built the whole cavern by having 16, It's, a, it's I believe it's a 4x4 four four square, and each square is like, they designed partial chunks, and how they fit together is what creates kind of like the random twists and turns of the cavern, and I think that's really clever. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that for Goth Girl versus the Goo, because originally it started out as something that was going to be more Metroidvania with a very predefined. But I realized I don't want to create predefined games. I like randomly generated games. All the games that I really enjoy are like that. You know, I play a lot of sandbox survival, crafty, harvest and crafty type games. So that's kind of what I want to create. You know, another one I'm working on is one that I lovingly called Slime Grinder, which is I want it to be like a jrpg but again it's i want it to be like randomly generated world randomly generated um, missions um in a and i have an idea for a craft system to create your own weapons that i think will be really fun like how you actually what i'm going to have is you actually get to draw your own weapons and that kind of determines its its abilities and its power but more on that later um but yeah uh, another one I'm working on is a uh, Terraria clone, but, but it's not going to be exactly like Terraria. I'm thinking about having it right now. It's got kind of an ant theme because I don't think there's any good ant games. So I want to create a fun ant game that also has some, some crafting and some uh, exploration aspects to it. So there's so much I want to be working on. I, I just, I can't get too hung up on Mac stuff, but I will admit that it's, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it uh, caused some code writer's block, I guess, the frustration. So now I'm kind of like, ugh, I want to deal with writing code. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to do a quick live stream talking about that. Um, definitely, if uh, you're new to my channel, please be sure to, on YouTube, subscribe. On uh, If you're watching this from Twitch, please be sure to follow. Um, because I'll definitely have a lot more dev logs coming and probably a lot more game pl playthroughs coming or something. Um, streams because I'm always working on something. So in any case, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Oh, actually, before I go, <laughs> um, probably after this this uploads and whatnot, for the people on YouTube at the very least, I'll probably put a link. But it's really easy to find me. My itch.io is punkyroo.itch.io or itchy itch, sorry, punkyroo.itch.io slash fpu is the, uh, is this game if you want to download it. It's free. It's free everywhere. Anyways, bye-bye.